Saturday the 15th of March. Finland became the first European country to allow women's rights in 1907. So women in Finland are a lot more ambitious than any other European country. Well, they still followed the suit, but the men didn't make it any easier for them. Sophia seemed to be in a very happy mood, singing out of tune all over the place. I asked her why, why she wasn't in her usual mood, and it's because... And I asked, is it because you're glad that I'm not leaving now and I'll be staying here for another year? She said, you think everything has to revolve around you, don't you? No, you're wrong and you wouldn't be able to guess it in a million years. She laughed and went humming straight up to her bedroom. Sunday the 16th of March. Harold Wilson unexpectedly resigned as the British Prime Minister and was succeeded by James Callington in 1976. Must be easier ways of making a living. And whoever they are, or whatever they do or don't do, it doesn't matter because anybody will pick holes and blame them for anything that goes wrong. Went to James's house and, and played Mario Flower, Flower Cup. And I beat him! But while we were playing, I asked him about Sophia's peculiar behaviour, except he burst out laughing. His mood soon changed and then asked me for a rematch. I told him I'll think about it, but I'll email you sometime during the holiday. I really have to find out what's going on with Sophia. Monday the 17th of March. The Kingdom of Italy was proclaimed in 1861, and Victor Emmanuel became the first king. There hasn't been a royal family in Italy for a long while. Great Uncle Paddy will be busy today. Busy getting drunk, that is. <laughs> Poor Great Auntie Mary. She'll always, she's always used to putting her foot down every weekend on his birthday and every occasion to celebrate you can think of. I do miss her lots. Tuesday the 18th of March. Soviet astronaut Alexei Leonov became the first man to walk in space for 10 minutes in 1965. 10 minutes. He must have had another urgent appointment. If so, where? I had Sophia crying in her bedroom. To see if she's alright, I, I knocked on her door and she screamed at me to go away. At last, back to normality. Wednesday the 19th of March. In 1944, RAF Sergeant Nichols leapt from a plane without a parachute 18,000 feet and survived after landing in a fir tree. Good job it wasn't stinging that they landed on. I emailed James today at 7.43pm. Hi James, can we arrange the rematch next Wednesday at 10pm? 10 10am. 10 and we would also, and also, would you like to have a game of chess sometime in the future? I could teach you if you don't know. Don't worry. I'm no budding grandmaster. I just love the game and nobody will, else in the family will play against me. Please let me know soon. Clarence. Thursday the 20th of March. Scientists issued warnings in 1966 that a deadly form of brain disease might be linked to eating beef from cattle infected with so-called mad cow disease. Better stick to lamb and pork and hope there's no mad sheep or mad pigs. I received a text from James at 8.57pm. Hi Clarence, I can make next Wednesday at 10am. And I also do know how to play chess, but only on the computer, as I don't, I'm not a fan of the old-fashioned way. James. Friday the 21st of March. French scientists claimed that smoking was good for you in 1923, as nicotine kills bacteria. Granddad Roberts always used that silly excuse, and he died at 59 years old. If only he had stopped. I ate all my lovely homemade hot cross buns. Just as I'd finished, then Claudia phoned up telling that she won't be home till tomorrow. So I ate up all hers as well. <laughs>